Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. All of us would be in invested in the stock market and all of us would definitely be holding a mutual fund. So when it comes to mutual fund, the first name that comes to your mind is Quant Mutual Fund. And as you can see their reports, it's been almost 50%, 70% on every year after year. And if at all you have noticed, this mutual fund was just over uh, 100 crores in 2019 and now it is over 90,000 crores. So the AUM of the fund has considerably increased and especially the Quant small cap fund has been an attractive thing among all the investors. So recently the Quant mutual fund has come under the radar of SEBI and they have been alleged as front running in the market. So what exactly is this front running and how is it affecting Quant mutual fund? So the Quant mutual fund when SEBI has, uh, they have let an announcement or there's been a mailer sent to all the investors stating that uh, they have uh, uh, received inquiries from SEBI so that they have acknowledged and they also added that they would be providing up all the necessary support and they will continue to provide any documents whatsoever uh, SEBI has asked for them. So recently there was a uh, search conduct which was happening in their Mumbai as well as in their Hyderabad office and uh, SEBI's persons were there at the premises of uh, Quant Mutual Fund and they were uh, making up a scrutiny as well as a detailed study about all of their uh, modus operandi or what exactly is happening in their business. So this fund house which has grown drastically over the past few years from just a 100 crore AUM to 90,000 crore AUM has drawn the attention of everyone and they have been alleged of uh, front running. This is not the first time which is happening in the market. There have been other instances as well in the past where there have been other fund managers or other fund companies AMCs who have been caught into the uh, radar of SEBI as well. However, this is not the first time SEBI has taken such actions. So back in 2002, uh, post the COVID rally, there was a similar investigation which happened in your Axis Mutual Fund and they were again um, accused of a front running which resulted in about 21 uh, entities who are like barred from accessing the capital markets. So SEBI like uh, terminated their accounts and there were heavy fines of about 30 crores which was like levied on them and their accounts were all freezed. So the same occasion has now again happened on uh, Quant as well and uh, SEBI has uh, accused them of front running allegations. So what exactly is this front running? So the front running involves trading on privileged information. So what exactly is that? So uh, Mutual fund companies, when they're trying to go with the full overboard or they're going to purchase up more equities into the market, when they get to know about the insider information, what they exactly try to do is they try to acquire a lot of positions on that particular stock and they try to increase up their own investment onto that. And as they know that the mutual fund company is again going to like uh, make a bulk, bulk purchase on that particular uh, equity. So what exactly happens is like they invest their own funds, they have about 10 crores capital into it and they try to uh, increase the price of that particular equity uh, by executing orders for their clients. So this is an unethical practice. This gives all the traders an unfair advantage. So a lot of people in the market are getting affected by this. So by this uh, front running traders can um, potentially profit and uh, because they know the price momentum is going to happen and uh, the larger clients are going to purchase onto that. So now considering into the case of a quant mutual fund, what exactly has happened is like they have been uh, creating up waves in the market because of uh, a lot of acquisitions has been put on them. And uh, SEBI's probe again has uh, increased about uh, the uh, ethics on the company. There are a lot of people who are thinking about how exactly is this company is functioning and what exactly is happening behind the doors of this uh, company as well. So this is uh, happened or this normally happens because of an individual or an exploit happening because of the company's uh, confidential information. So they try to gather up all these uh, informations and they try to distribute it to others. So take for an example, um, if you are employed in a company and uh, you know that the mutual fund company is going to like uh, buy a, an equity of it, a company into their portfolio. So this company normally knows that they're going to invest about say for example 100 crores into the market. So they try to acquire some portion of that uh, personally and then they try to increase the price of this equity and then they try to uh, exit their positions or cut their positions onto that equity. So this automatically increases up the uh, fairness in the market as well as the trust. So this is considered as unethical and it is illegal in terms of uh, financial professionals or in the eyes of uh, SEBI as well. 
but how exactly is this front running detected by SEBI? How are they knowing it? So in today's technology, uh, technological era, uh, a lot of trades are conducted electronically. SEBI has their own algorithms and they've got their own data analytics system in the market that they have deployed. So these algorithms will normally detect any suspicious patterns of trading happening in the market. So if there is a personal buy happening when the volumes are automatically increasing without any news in the market, then they will be automatically triggered in the system of uh, SEBI. And uh, this normally does not happen in the company's account. So they have a lot of dummy accounts. We call them as mule accounts. So these mule accounts will automatically say, for example, I'm a company. I will have my own family person, someone into this, and I'll try to buy on their account's name. So SEBI tracks all these kind of accounts or all the fun houses that are involved in it. And besides not uh, these accounts, they also keep track of all the uh, um, Instagram messages or your WhatsApp messages or the groups which are into this and they try to find out who is all like involved in these kind of uh, uh, information sharing as well as your conduits as well as your uh, trading kind of uh, these kind of illegal activities. So SEBI takes up a, a swift identity and they investigate markets abuse and uh, safeguarding the investors uh, interest into uh, a market fairness. So that's their ex exclusive job. and. Um, Coming into the uh, current scenario of um, your quant mutual fund. So SEBI took several action against a lot of companies into this. In the past, they have also like barred up several stock brokers and they have taken out the portfolio of a lot of uh, uh, persons who are in involved into these kind of uh, front running as well. So in fact, uh, there was an employee of uh, the Life Insurance Corporation, LIC's investment department. He was in fact like uh, cracked down by SEBI and uh, they were having up a gain of about 2.4 crores. So this was taken care by SEBI. As I said earlier part of the video, there was Axis Mutual Fund which was also involved in this. So a 30 crore uh, fund was uh, uh, raised by um, front running activities which was led by Viren Joshi. So that was again taken care by uh, SEBI. And uh, the same scenario is now happening with uh, Quant and uh, SEBI has uh, guaranteed that they will take out complete information about this and uh, they'll be taking necessary actions to this. Uh, so to understand or to know more about this, uh, um, the Quant Mutual Fund, which is owned by Sandeep Tandon, he has given up uh, news to uh, provide all the information that SEBI has asked them for and uh, their credibility is very important. And uh, if this is proven, then there's definitely going to be a serious case and the manager's uh, credibility is going to be at a toss and uh, perceptions will definitely change across the minds of people because people are now like very much into quant mutual fund including myself i've got a very good credibility about uh, um, mutual fund which is quant but if this happens to be true then that is going to be a serious impact on this and uh, in fact today as of as i'm shooting this video just few hours back there was mailers which were sent by quant mutual fund and they have claimed that uh, the inquiry is not yet concluded and this is just a data in progress they have collected up more data and they're still analyzing it and uh, it was asked where anyone was convicted on this crime and they have said that it's just a regular job they have taken and there is no crime or anyone has not been yet been uh, convicted on this and uh, is they were also asked has the sebi uh, deployed any person in their office to make sure that things are not happening or they're not uh, uh, taking uh, like eradicating any of the proofs and stuff and um, uh, sandeep Tandon has told that there is no one stationed in their office as well and their offices are functioning as normally in both the of their offices uh, in Mumbai, the one at Prabhadevi and another is Bandra. So they're all uh, functioning full and they're in their full capacity as well. And uh, everyone is like attending office as well. There is no one which is like off or like, no one is like taken up uh, uh, leaves as well in their business and every team is like functioning um, as usual. And there was a query which came into the mind of all the investor is like what exactly is going to be the future of Quant and how it is going to be like uh, uh, going ahead uh, moving forward after all these allegations and uh, Sandeep has just given up a simple answer that uh, their business is dependent upon their own uh, uh, research analytics and their capability of that and this has got nothing to do with how uh, the market is going to behave and their situations will still remain and uh, they are a cash rich company as well now their uh, liquid assets as well as their cash assets as on date is almost over 53 54 percent and uh, their AUM is still date, uh, till date is like 80, 88,000 crores and uh, people have just withdrawn only 1.5% of their AUM and people still uh, hold their trust in uh, uh, Quant Mutual Fund including myself and uh, this is a story which is developing and we need to further evaluate and see how uh, this is like going to move forward and how uh, Quant is going to defend against this front running case. Uh, 
And if you like this video, do share it with your friends and um, catch you up in the next one. Thank you.